International Rise fans mocked after protest against Sunghan's departure goes wrong. In a show of support for Sunghan, overseas fans recently sent a protest truck to the headquarters of what they believe to be a brand endorsed by Rise. These overseas fans sent a message advocating for Sunghan's return to the group to FNF Holdings, the parent company of various brands. These fans seem to have hoped that they would be able to receive support from FNF Holdings to help bring Sunghan back to the group. However, these fans sent the truck to the wrong place because Rise does not endorse any brands under F&F Holdings. One of the apparel brands under F&F Holdings is Discovery. It is clear that the company has failed in its duty to protect its artists. As a trusted brand, please listen to our request for Sunghan's return to Rise. Sunghan's return will lead to increased sales in the next quarter. Currently, Rise is signed as a model for National Geographic Apparel, not Discovery. Rise, which signed a six-member modeling contract earlier this summer, remains unaffected by Sunghan's situation, as his name was not included in the agreement. Therefore, Korean netizens are confused by this protest truck and have gathered in an online community to discuss the matter. Korean netizens are questioning whether the fans who sent the protest truck are true fans of Rise. Korean netizens commented, This is serious. How do they get the brand the group is representing wrong? Honestly, this doesn't seem like a laughing matter. There's no way Rise fans wouldn't know the brand they're endorsing. It seems like these aren't real Sunghan or Rise fans, but rather an overseas viral marketing scheme intended to worsen public opinion. What did Byun Woo Suk and Discovery do to deserve this? Discovery brand and Byun Woo Suk must be so dumbfounded. This is so embarrassing. Why are they asking a brand to help Sunghan return to the group? Isn't it a finished matter? What can a brand company even do? What are your thoughts on this?